Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, we'll be discussing an important topic that has affected millions of people around the world, cholera. In this video, we'll be discussing the causes, symptoms, treatment, and prevention of cholera. What is cholera? Cholera is a waterborne disease caused by a bacterium called Vibrio cholerae. It spreads through contaminated water and food and can lead to severe diarrhea and dehydration. Brief History of Cholera Cholera is believed to have originated in the Indian subcontinent. The first major pandemic of cholera began in the early 19th century, spreading from the Ganges Delta to Southeast Asia, the Middle East, Africa, and Europe. Cholera outbreaks continued to occur throughout the 20th century, particularly in areas with poor sanitation and water supply. In recent years, major outbreaks have occurred in Haiti, Yemen, and other countries, underscoring the ongoing threat posed by this disease. About Causal Agent of Cholera The bacterium that causes cholera, Vibrio cholerae, is a gram-negative curved rod-shaped bacterium that is approximately 0.5 to 1.5 micrometers in length and 0.3 to 0.4 micrometers in width. It has a single, polar flagellum that modal bacteria. The outer membrane of Vibrio cholerae contains a variety of proteins and lipids that play important roles in its virulence. One of these proteins, known as the cholera toxin, is responsible for the severe diarrhea and dehydration that characterizes cholera. In addition to the cholera toxin, Vibrio cholerae produces adhesins that enable it to attach to the host's intestines and evade the immune system and proteases, which break down host proteins and help the bacterium to access nutrients. How Cholera Transmits Cholera is transmitted through the ingestion of food or water contaminated with the bacterium Vibrio cholerae. The bacteria are shed in the feces of infected individuals and can contaminate water sources, such as rivers, lakes, and wells, especially in areas with poor sanitation and hygiene. When a person ingests contaminated water or food, the bacteria can infect the lining of the small intestine, causing symptoms such as severe diarrhea, vomiting, and dehydration. The bacteria can also be transmitted through contact with feces or vomit from an infected person, particularly in healthcare settings or in crowded and unsanitary conditions. Cholera outbreaks can occur in areas with poor sanitation, such as refugee camps or slums, where there is inadequate access to clean water and proper sanitation facilities. Outbreaks can also occur after natural disasters, such as floods or earthquakes, that disrupt water and sanitation systems and increase the risk of contamination. In addition, cholera can spread through international travel, as infected individuals can carry the bacteria to other regions. This has led to the spread of cholera to new areas. Pathogenicity of cholera The pathogenicity of cholera is primarily due to the production of a potent toxin called cholera toxin by the bacterium Vibrio cholerae. The cholera toxin binds to specific receptors on the surface of intestinal cells and triggers a cascade of events that result in the loss of electrolytes and water from the body, leading to the characteristic symptoms of cholera, including severe watery diarrhea and dehydration. This cholera bacterium also produces adhesins that allow it to attach to the surface of intestinal cells, which facilitates the colonization and infection of the small intestine and proteases that break down host proteins and help the bacterium to access nutrients. The pathogenicity of Vibrio cholerae is influenced by a number of factors, including the dose of bacteria ingested, the virulence of the strain of bacteria, and the immune status of the host. Individuals with weakened immune systems, such as malnourished children, are more susceptible to severe cholera infections. Symptoms of cholera The symptoms of cholera can range from mild to severe and typically appear within two to five days after exposure to the bacterium Vibrio cholerae. The most common symptom of cholera is severe watery diarrhea, which can lead to rapid dehydration if left untreated. The diarrhea may be accompanied by vomiting, which can also contribute to fluid loss. Other common symptoms include, abdominal cramps, rapid heartbeat, low blood pressure, muscle cramps, dry mouth and throat, sunken eyes, dry or cool skin, thirst, fatigue and confusion. In severe cases, the dehydration caused by cholera can lead to shock, seizures, and coma. Without prompt treatment, severe cholera infections can be life-threatening, particularly in young children, pregnant women, and individuals with weakened immune systems. It's important to seek medical attention immediately if you develop symptoms of cholera, especially if you have recently traveled to an area where cholera is endemic or if you have been in contact with someone who has cholera. How to Diagnose Cholera Diagnosis of cholera is typically based on a combination of clinical symptoms and laboratory tests. A doctor or healthcare provider may suspect cholera in individuals who present with symptoms such as watery diarrhea and vomiting, 
especially if they have recently traveled to an area where cholera is endemic or have been in contact with someone who has cholera. The most commonly used laboratory test for cholera is a stool culture, which involves growing the bacteria in a laboratory setting and identifying it using specialized techniques. Other diagnostic procedures may include blood tests to check for electrolyte imbalances and kidney function, and imaging tests such as X-rays and ultrasound to assess for signs of dehydration and other complications. What is treatment for cholera? Rehydration is the primary treatment for cholera, as the profuse diarrhea and vomiting can quickly lead to dehydration and electrolyte imbalances. Oral Rehydration Solution ORS, is the preferred method of rehydration for most individuals with cholera, as it is cheap, effective, and widely available. Intravenous IV, fluids may be necessary in severe cases or in individuals who are unable to tolerate oral fluids. Antibiotics are also used to treat cholera and to reduce the duration and severity of symptoms. The antibiotics of choice for cholera include doxycycline, azithromycin, and ciprofloxacin. Other treatments may include antiemetics to control vomiting, antidiarrheal medications to reduce diarrhea, and electrolyte replacement therapy to correct imbalances in sodium, potassium, and other electrolytes. How to prevent cholera? Cholera can be prevented by taking several measures to avoid exposure to the bacteria Vibrio cholerae. Here are some ways to prevent cholera. Practice good hygiene. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water, especially before eating or preparing food and after using the toilet. Avoid sharing personal items such as towels, utensils, and cups. Drink safe water. Use only water that has been treated and or boiled for drinking, cooking, and brushing teeth. If safe water is not available, use a water treatment method such as filtration, chlorination, or iodine tablets. Eat safe food. Eat only hot, freshly cooked food or fruit and vegetables that can be peeled or washed in clean water. Avoid raw or undercooked seafood and shellfish. Vaccination. A vaccine is available for cholera that can provide protection for up to two years. It is recommended for individuals who are traveling to areas where cholera is endemic or who may be at risk of exposure to the bacteria. Sanitation. Ensure proper sanitation and waste disposal practices in your community to reduce the risk of contamination of water and food sources. Personal protection. Use insect repellent and wear protective clothing to avoid exposure to flies and other insects that may spread cholera. Conclusion. Cholera is a preventable and treatable disease, but it can be fatal if left untreated. It's important to take precautions and practice good hygiene to prevent the spread of cholera. If you or someone you know shows symptoms of cholera, seek medical attention immediately. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this video informative.